going down? How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Appreciate you being with me here in my kitchen table where all the magic happens. <laughs> it's my favorite seat right here at the kitchen table. I got my little monitor over here so I can, uh, you know, that's where my old school stuff is hooked up over here on my monitor. Um, it's where I got my computer at my table as well. And uh, it's where I eat breakfast cereal. In fact, uh, new breakfast cereal. Look out for tiny toast. Strawberry and blueberry, both of it good stuff. I prefer the blueberry um, over strawberry, but they're both very, very good. Um, hoping that it becomes popular enough that they make a grape cereal. So, um, we haven't had a grape cereal since Sir Grapefellow? No, there's a Nerds grape variety, but we haven't had a grape cereal in a long time. So, General Mills, make cereal grape again. Hashtag make cereal grape again, all right? <laughs> uh, what a showcase, a few pickups I've picked up recently. Um, and first and foremost, Two new homebrews, both of them CIB. Uh, we'll talk about this one first. This is the uh, Legend of Oulia. I have no idea how to pronounce that last word. Um, they've been working a long time on this game, and uh, and man, it shows. Great looking uh, box there. Love the anime style. Um, there was a playable demo that was uh, phenomenal. Um, I I had to grab it. I didn't opt for the. Oh man. Oh, the box bins. That happened to you too? Oh, man, it's like every time. I can never get it to open up properly without <laughs> that, that box freeze. Well, you know what? I don't plan on reselling it, so nah, I don't care if it's a little don't care if it's a little uh, warped or bent or anything like that. Um, even comes with a manual, full color, full uh, you know, every page color. Uh, just you know, just like the old school manuals, back when you know back when we had manuals and everything. Very, very cool. Uh, we'll pop it in here. We can check it out for a little bit. Check out the Legend of Aulia. Let's pop Go it in. down here. <laughs> Super cool. Continue all the new game. Why not? The funny thing about this, um, it's a homebrew. And um, again, they've been working really hard on it for the last few years. So I'm just going to skip past this stuff. But now there's your pet owl. There we go. Um, the cool thing is, this game looks and plays. It's like, oh, here's a there's a heart in the uh, thing. How do I get it? Well, there you go. <laughs> the cool thing about this game is it looks and plays better than a lot of actual licensed uh, Nintendo games. So I would say definitely pick it up. There's a link in the description below on uh, where I found mine. Uh, no, there's no discount or anything. Come on. I... Oh, here's an enemy. You can toss your owl at it to hurt it. You can also have your, your little dagger. <laughs> ah! Why gotta be so far away? Actually, walk diagonally and stuff? This is crazy. Very, very, very well made game here. Ah, yeah. Anyway, I I don't want to play too much of it because I want to move on with the video, but you definitely got to check that out for sure. The other game I had to pick up was Kahan's uh, kind of a four-in-one uh, retro game pack here. Very, very cool. Um, I missed out on the Ultimate Frogger Champion as well as the uh, Sneak and Peek. Um, I missed out on both of these when they were first released um, and haven't been released since. So to get those, I had to buy the four-in-one. Comes with E.T. E.T. previously only available for Nintendo through a mail-in insert from the Leisure Suit Larry Kahan port. <laughs> you know, like actually when you buy the uh, the Leisure Suit Larry, the inside there's a little certificate that said, hey, if you want this game too, 20 bucks, send it in. Um, so I, I have one of those too, but happy to have that on here. And then Fishing Challenge is a brand new game too. So uh, we'll go ahead and pop this in here too. Let's open it up. Oh, is it gonna be? I did it without bending the thing. <laughs> All right, check out the manual too. There's a manual in here. I know there is. Did this slide underneath? Where'd it go? Here it is. I had it right there. That wasn't the manual. Again, full color. Awesome. Have the box. Gotta love it. Four in one. Very cool transparent cart. Love that too. We'll pop it in right here. Right off the bat, it gives you uh, selections. Got ET, Ultimate Frogger Champion, Sneak and Peek, Fishing Challenge. ET is just like the Atari ET, which, believe it or not, I like a lot. Um, I'm during the ET season and all that, you always hear stories about that. I do remember that time. Um, I was five years old when uh, ET first came out in theaters. I remember watching it in the movie theater with my uh, with my mom. And 
uh, and we got this for Christmas. And that was back when everyone was like, ah, oh, it's a terrible game, bring it back. And I was like, actually, I like it a lot. Um, I do like E.T. You have to know how to play it, though. That's the thing. So if you don't know how to play it, yeah, it might be a little confusing, but you just got to find the little... Oh, not that. I'm looking for the, uh, looking for the question mark. Because when you... Uh, oh, get back up there. Oh, boy, that guy. Looking for the question mark up in the top of the screen there. When I see that, that's where I'll know where the uh, piece of the phone is. Oh, there it is. You see a flash right here? There'll be a piece of the phone in here. You get the three pieces, you call your ship, you get out of there, get your bonus points. Uh, very cool game. And then there's other games on here too, like the uh, Ultimate Frogger Champion, the uh, Sneak and Peek Fishing Challenge as well. So definitely worth checking out too. You definitely want to pick up the... Where'd the box go? Oh, here it is. It's underneath the manual. <laughs> definitely want to pick this up too. And I have a link in the description below on where you can find this as well. A few other quick pickups I grabbed was an Xbox One. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole Xbox One, but you take my word for it. I do have an Xbox One now. Um, came with Halo 5. The funny thing is, because it was used, um, my Xbox One came with Halo 5 installed. So I just played the digital download. I don't mind games being digital. I like having physical copies all the same. Um, but I played through it, but I still have a sealed original. So if you have an Xbox One or need a copy of Halo 5, um, maybe we can work out a trade. I'm happy to trade it for pretty much any other Xbox One game I don't have. Um, I need to find all these Xbox One games that I didn't have a chance to play because now I have one. So um, I, the reason I got an Xbox One was mainly for the Rare Replay because I love compilation games. Um, so very happy, I do have that. And um, I have a couple of other games too, but if you need a copy of Halo 5, uh, maybe just let me know in the comments and we can work out a trade or something. Yard sales are pretty slim in my area, but I was happy to find a few games um, at a yard sale just this last weekend. They're all a buck each. Uh, grabbed Resident Evil 4 for Wii, uh, Sonic for Wii, um, Nintendo Land as well. It has two bucks. I got it for a dollar, though. Um, this is one game I never had for the Wii U, so happy to have that. And then, uh, this was a dollar, King Griffey Baseball. Here's the thing, though. My buddy, um, I, was, I grabbed it because it was a dollar. It's like a dollar Super Nintendo game. Sure, I'll, I'll grab that for a buck. Um, that's when my buddy uh, John DeFreeze said, you know, if you look that up recently, yes, it's a sports game and everything, but King Griffey Jr. going into the Hall of Fame, uh, Gaming Historian just released that video on how Nintendo bought the Seattle Mariners, King Griffey Jr. with the Mariners, um, you might see this game go up in price. If not, I mean, more than a dollar for sure. It might go up, you know, maybe it's 15, 20 bucks now, I don't know. Um, I haven't done the research, but it's worth grabbing for a buck just in case. And if you have one of these, Especially if you buy them because you see them like in a lot, uh, it might be worth holding on to. You never know. In my quest to find every cartridge wrestling title that's out there, um, grabbed two great ones: Super Fire Pro Wrestling 2, um, which I had the cart, but I didn't have it uh, boxed or anything like that. So now I have it CIB. Um, I'll, I'll trade off or sell off the uh, the cart version. And then this one, which could be um, many people are heralded as one of the greatest uh, Fire Pro Wrestling games, which I agree. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling X for the uh, Super Famicom as well. This one is CIB too. Uh, tons of wrestlers. They even have wrestlers from the uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters playable in here. So uh, happy to have both of these. Along with cereal, I also love snack food, love treats, especially from other countries. And I love nostalgia. And did you know that in Mexico, they still make 3D Doritos? 3D Doritos. I'll open it up for you. I bought a few of them, you know. Nope, get back here. Get back here. What are you doing? 3D Doritos. Mmm. Basically Beagles, you know, but 3D Doritos. In making repros, I had a lot of people ask me about like multimeters or like, hey, how do you use that? Or how do you tell which one's which when you use that? And I'm like, I gotta be honest with you. And I've, I've said this before in other videos. I'm not a tech guy. I'm not a, like an electronic engineer. I'm more a what goes where, tell me what to do and I'll do that. And if it works, great. And I can pass it along that information. Um, I've never worked with a multimeter before, but my buddy Ken said, oh, I have a spare one, you can have it. So I have a multimeter now. Um, I still have to Google how to use it, but i um, looking forward to using it. Apparently this might come in handy for some more open cart surgeries in the future. I mean, I can narrow down the problem before, you know, just kind of thinking about it or figuring stuff out. So uh, thanks, Ken, this is awesome. Looking forward to checking this out. Buddy of mine in my hometown, uh, another local collector, retro collector, does a bunch of gaming, uh, retro gaming stuff, uh, host a gaming, uh, retro gaming night at a local um, beer place every Monday night in my town, just for fun, labor of love, you know, and kids are welcome too. Um, he talked our one of our local pawn shops into liquidating 
their games. Because they had so many games that weren't moving. You go in there and you probably have a shop like that in your town too. It's like, man, every time you go in there, it's the same stuff. And no one buys anything. So he said, let's liquidate this, please. I will do all the work and tell you which games are worth a dollar. And just discount them all clearance, 99 cents each. And the pawn shop said, hey, if you want to do the work, go for it. So he told me about it. And I was like, right on. So found a bunch of $1 games. These are all great games that I didn't have before. Um, so my first time ever owning Battlefield 3, got it for a buck. Truth time, I have never played an Uncharted game, but now I have uh, Uncharted and uh, I have uh, Uncharted 2. This is uh, Drake's Fortune and then Uncharted 2, so happy to have both of those. Again, one dollar each. Looking forward to playing this. One dollar. I can't go wrong. Um, along with Battlefield 3, I also grabbed Battlefield 4 for a buck. Uh, Dead Space, awesome to have this one. This is Dead Space 3. I've never played this one, so happy to have that for a buck. Man, my backlog's huge now. <laughs> and for the kids, I got Wii Music. I've had this once upon a time, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll trade it off, you know, trade it into, like, a local store. Um, and then that's why I was like, oh, my kids are a little bit older now, and I have another child who might be more interested in something like this. So, having to have Wii Music. It's complete, too. It's all that, too. I wonder if the, uh, too bad the, uh, the, the code point thing doesn't work anymore, but... <laughs> that was that was included too. And then Steve Baker, gotta give a huge shout out to him on a uh, Sega Facebook group. Um, I said I, I posted a photo, um, and you might see me pop up in some of the Facebook groups too, saying, "Hey, look at this cool thing I found or whatever." Um, I was so happy that I found a Master System converter, the power base converter to play Master System games on my Genesis. And he said, "Hey, if you have one of those, um, I have a spare copy of Thunderblade. That just shoot me your address. I'll send it to you." I'm like, I'll, I'm not going to turn down free games. So, uh, dude, thanks. Thanks for this. I, did, I don't have uh, Thunderblade, and um, I love the Thunderblade series. And from what I understand, um, Steve has done that before to others in the past, too. Just like, you know, congratulations, here's a free game. And I've done that before. So, cool that there's someone else doing that, too. So, um, thanks for watching. That's about it for my pickups this time. And again, uh, two new homebrews. We got this one here. We got the uh, Legend of... I'm going to play this a little bit more, so I still have it out. Um, looking forward to popping that in. Uh, and in the near future, uh, more tutorials, um, more pickups, if that's your thing, uh, more um, breakfast cereal, I guess. And then really quickly, um, something to tease you with. I wasn't really going to showcase these, but since I have them right next to me, I'll show them off. Um, Mega Ran, the uh, hip-hop guy, he was in town not too long ago, in my town, of all places. Um, so just for fun, I made him his own hack. Unfortunately, the night of the show, I got really, really um, ill. Like, I was just, I had just a, a sharp chest pain, um, it wasn't going away, so even if I went to the show, I wouldn't enjoy myself, so I had to back out, um, but I'm gonna send this to him. I made him, I made him his own Mega, Mega Man hack featuring him as the uh, playable character. I'm not, I, I won't need to show you, dude. It's just Mega Man 1, but him is the playable guy, and everything else is the same, so, um, want to showcase that. And then one game I will showcase, and there will be a contest in the near future for your chance to win. That look familiar? It's a pro wrestling hack of Up Up Down Down featuring um, a very, very cool uh, gaming channel that features uh, wrestlers on there. Huge wrestling fan, I am. Um, and Xavier Woods is a huge wrestling fan himself. You know, that's true because he has his own gaming channel where he plays video games with other wrestlers. Um, in fact, if you look at um, Xavier Woods' earlier wrestling outfits, it says his name in Sega font with Chaos Emeralds like in the text and everything. So um, I'll showcase uh, footage of this and there'll be a giveaway for this game soon. Not now, though. I just want to show off these uh, really quick. Um, and again, more things in the future. But thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for subscribing. And again, more tutorials on the way, and um, we'll showcase uh, maybe a few of these in the near future, too. Appreciate you hanging out, man. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.